Hey, we're Howling Bells, and this first song we're going to play for you is called Paris. This next track is called Original Sin. There's a moment, there's a time When every action forms a line Consequences may arise Don't worry, you'll be fine Yeah, I've been here Oh 
and this next song is called Your Love.
And we've come to our last song called Slow Burn. We're Howling Bells. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Hi. just let me squeeze in here, nice and smooth, I'm not in anyone's way, I'm not treading anything, awesome, guys, how was that, that was amazing to watch, was it amazing to play, sweet, cool, awesome, God, I'll give you a second to catch a breath, everyone good, cool, now I can start grilling you about questions, first up, I mean, welcome back, it's been a little while since you guys were in town, uh, you've been busy, I mean, you've got a, a couple of shows, you've already kicked one off, you've got uh, Melbourne and Sydney to go, how was, how was Perth? It was good, it was a good breaking in. Yeah, sure. Was it, was, I guess, uh, was it promising? I mean, that's, I guess you want the first show to be absolutely... I should probably talk in the microphone. That, it, it helps. Okay. All we right. can turn them up, but, you know, it, <laughs> okay. it's always good to get right in there. Um, so it was a good indicator for the... It was a, you know, yeah, there was yeah, a good yeah, idea it was to great, because it was the first show where we played all the, the new songs off the new album to Australian audiences. Right. And they responded very favorably great that was cool cool well i mean i guess it's easy to understand this kind of thing these days with twitter and facebook you know you get it there's this sense of immediacy that everyone seems to be so obsessed about yeah uh, do you find that when people when you release the album and you release the music the responses change over time after you've performed the songs in front of people oh yeah like 100 percent, don't you think yeah, 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 it's yeah. different climate different music right. industry different audiences yeah. People have grown up. There are new, younger audiences. Sure. It's different time. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Because I mean, I guess it'd been a minute since albums between you guys. So your last yeah. record was released in 2011. So I mean, your fans, I guess, had been patiently waiting for this one to come yeah. around. What were some of the things that people were throwing around? You know, had your your dedicated fans noticed any change within you guys? Um, if anything, there's been discussion that perhaps it's a throwback to our very first record. Cool. So I guess the people who were around then were pleasantly surprised. Sure. Um, and then you pick up new fans along the way. Right on. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, what, what, what's in your head when you're making an album after a two-year hiatus? You know, are you, is there more nerves than there would particularly be had you not have done a hiatus? Or is it, you know, just excitement to get back in the game? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, a bit of both. Sure. Definitely, yeah, I think a bit of both. 
you're excited, you're nervous, you're everything. Mm. Everything. It's, it's just this whole kerfuffle of emotions. Really. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and of course, we have Gary, who's new. Hey, Gary. In the band. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> you sound great. <laughs> Really? Yeah, he did. No, it was amazing that we got this camera. One of those cameras is set up just, that, you know, just, so just, just like, it's like bang, bang. So it's like that. So you guys, you, you, you got caught rocking out pretty good. G cam. But also, <laughs> I guess I want to finish what I was saying. It's, it's also nice when you have a great producer. Sure. Like Mulder and Catherine. If, they, if they're behind you, it kind of settles the nerves a little mm. bit. You right. Know? Because if, if people that, that are that high up on your, your scale are, are supporting you, it, it does. It really helps. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, some of the people that you work with, the albums have worked with the biggest bands in the world, you know, at the moment. So it'd be interesting. Like, what do they bring to the table other than, I suppose, calming the nerves? Um, what do they bring to the table? Big things. Big production. <laughs> uh, very old whiskey. Right. Oh, that helps. Apparently that really helps with the vocals. <clears throat> um, no, that, I mean, what you initially want is, is wisdom. Sure. And <laughs> the more... <laughs> what, what are you laughing at? That was the first word that came into my head. Your head. Wisdom. Yeah, yeah good. Extracted it out. There you go. You want... You want well, I know. We've <laughs> known each other a long time. Um, yeah, wisdom. You mm. just want wisdom because if someone knows too little, then they'll kind of change, try and change too much. Sure. And I guess the power of someone that knows wisdom or has the knowledge, they let you be yourself mm. and only mm. change the things or touch the things mm -hmm. that can hinder something which can be brought out even more. That's really interesting because, I mean, obviously you guys have had a number of releases and you kind of, I guess, would have a pretty good idea about what you want from your studio time. Mm. So the better producers are the ones that know how to harness that as yeah. opposed to silencing it? Yeah, exactly. Sweet. I mean, they, they, they should be able to hear the whole song rather than a song in drums, guitar, right. bass. They'll hear everything and if something needs to be brought out, they'll... It's exactly like EQing. They'll pull something out rather than putting something sure. in mm -hmm. to get rid of it. Right on. It's really important. I love that shit. Yeah. You know, it's all way above my head. But, you know, I sit back in the control room and I'm just like, yeah, magic. That's how it all happens. Hey, so you're only in town for really three dates, which isn't enough. You guys, that's that's a really short run. I mean, you've got this new album that everyone's loving. Are you going to be returning? Yeah, I th well, you know, if depending on, you know, what the demand is, it's hard, It's harder. You know, I don't want to give you a sob story, but it is harder for bands these days. And we're yeah. all based in the other side of the planet. And to get to Australia and, and play shows is you know, time consuming, obviously, sure. and incredibly financially consuming. Mm. So, so many more bands are doing it themselves and, and you just, you have to take that into consideration. But if we could, we would play like everywhere. So maybe some yeah. festival promoters are watching this and they know to hit up the Howling Bells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Sure. For summer festival summer season, you guys got it's like a taste of it now. This is what it's going to be like, guys, for the next yeah. six months. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. There are all the questions I got for you. Thanks so much for putting cool. up with Perfect. me and thanks for playing. Thanks, thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. My pleasure. Cool.